And then, and then the last question that I have for, for you is if someone has a diagnosis of CCI and, and they're on the more extreme end, so they're having some, you know, neuro, they're having uh, not just pain in their neck, but they're having neurologic symptoms of, of whatever sort. And they're, they're contemplating surgery. They're at that point. They've, they've done, for example, maybe NUCA. They've done a variety of things, medication-wise, whatever. Do you have thoughts as to how they would best determine if going the route of a pickle might be helpful or gosh, I think it's to the point where, no, I need neurosurgery and a, and a pickle probably is not going to help me. Is there any way for a person to know that? Yeah. So we, we automatically don't allow certain patients to go forward. So mm -hmm. some of the examples there would be if there's very clear brainstem compression on mm -hmm. their imaging, that's very clearly structural um, or, for example, a low claboaxial angle patient that's in the one, 120 to 125 range, we will probably simultaneously have them see a surgeon uh, who does CCI. At the same time, we say, well, we're going to try this, mm -hmm. but we want you to have that consult. Um, mm -hmm. Or some of the larger ADI patients at Leonard Dental Interval Inflection, if that's in the six, seven range, uh, then we will again have them see a surgeon, get a surgical opinion at the same time that we're seeing them. And then based on how much that's moving, how functional or non-functional they are, we'll give them the option of either doing what we're doing or saying, no, you have to go to get that surgically uh, repaired. So there's a, a list of things like that. 